In these problems, we are factoring some polynomials, uh, and we're applying the difference of squares formula, which is up here for a reminder, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. Um, and the trick about these problems is that you can apply this formula more than once to factor it more completely. So let's see how this works. In this problem, we have 32y to the fourth minus 2v to the fourth y to the fourth. And really, the first thing we need to do here is, um, I mean, these don't look like perfect squares on either side, uh, is to see what we can factor out. Uh, so a 32 and a negative 2, I can factor out a 2 there. So I'm going to do that. And then also, both terms have a y to the fourth, so I can bring that along as well. So 2y to the fourth comes out of here. When I divide this first term by 2y to the fourth, I just get 16 left. When I divide the second term by y to the fourth, the fourth what I just get is v to the fourth. OK, so that's our first step. And what's in these parentheses looks pretty promising. This is a difference of squares. So if a is 16, or if a squared is 16, and uh, b squared is v to the fourth, then I could rewrite this as 4 minus v to the second times 4 oops, plus v to the second. So I've just applied the difference of squares to this chunk here, but I still have this thing that I factored out originally, so that's got to come along too. So that's our second step. We've applied the difference of squares once, but there's still another chance for us to do this. Right here, we have 4 minus v squared. Well, that's a difference of squares as well. And that can become 2 minus v times 2 plus v. And then we have all the other stuff too. So I've got my 4 plus v squared. And I got my 2y to the fourth. And now we've gone ahead and factored this thing as far as I think we can factor it. So we'll call this our answer. Let's try one more like that just for practice. So here we have x to the fourth y squared minus 81y squared. There's no number on this one, so I can't factor that out. It looks like I can factor a y squared out of both of these. So let me do that up here. y squared. When I divide the first term by y squared, I just get x to the fourth left. And when I divide the second term by y to the squared, I just get 81 left. Aha, now this is a difference of squares. So I can rewrite x to the fourth minus 81 as x squared minus 9 times x squared plus 9. And of course, we've got our y squared out here, too. And then we've got one more difference of squares here. x squared minus 9 is a difference of squared. So I can write that as x minus 3 times x plus 3. And then I've got my other stuff here. So I've got my x squared plus 9. And I've got that y squared we factored out at the beginning. So there is the completely factored form of that one. So we're seeing what we can factor out of the uh, original polynomial. And then we're seeing how many times we can apply the difference of squares formula.